Hey there, Aries, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for January 2024, first reading of the year. And we're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also, Aries, if this reading resonates and you want to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. And of course, if you enjoy what I do and you want to say thank you, donation link is below. Your girl loves herself some coffee. Um, any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Also, it's really interesting because Sag got the Page of Cups in the exact same location. And I literally shuffled this deck like a bunch of times. Um, so I don't know if you have a lot of Sag in your chart or if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. But anywho, main energy for your reading this month is the Queen of Swords. You are very logical. You're very practical. You're almost like void of emotions in how you deal with something here or how you deal with someone here. You're looking at this from a very calculated, meticulous, like what makes sense for me to do um, type of energy. In the recent past, you get the Judgment, Queen of Wands, and the Page of Cups. You've come to a very deep realization here in the recent past. And this is you, the Queen of Wands. I don't assign gender to my cards. Um, you've come to a very, very deep realization here. Um, and it's almost like after you've come to this realization, after you've come to this understanding, your heart kind of cracked open. All of a sudden, emotions came to the surface. A little bit, a little bit. They were bubbling, right? Um, so we'll see exactly what you realized here in the recent past. In the current situation, you get the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Temperance. You've been trying to emotionally detach from something or someone for quite some time. Um, I do see that here. Now, I say try because the fact that you've been trying to do this for so, so long is letting me know that you probably haven't been successful in emotionally detaching. Um, maybe not to the extent that you want or even at all. Again, we'll see when we clarify. In the near future, you get the star, the nine of swords, and the two of wands. You have a desire here. You have a crystal clear, like, I know what I want. This is what I want. If I was a genie, like, just give me this one wish. But it stresses you out. It stresses you out and it's causing you a lot of pain because you're waiting on this to happen and you don't actually know if it's going to happen. I do see a little bit of anxiety here in the near future. Because you're like, how long is this going to take? Like, why is it taking so long for the universe to deliver me what I want, my desire, my, basically the, the thing that I'm yearning for? Ooh, this is going to be intense, let me tell you right now. Um, some of you may be dealing with a Sag or an Aquarius. I mean, obviously this is for all signs. Those are just the ones which are popping up most prominently. All right, let's clarify. Let's take a look at the Queen of Swords, which is the main energy for your reading this month. Queen of Swords is clarified by the Two of Swords, the Moon, and the King of Cups. You don't know what to do. You're trying to make a logical decision, like I said here, and you're showing me, like, I don't know what to do. From a logical, practical perspective, like, void of emotions, I like, literally, black and white, I don't know what to do. Now, the reason you don't know what to do, the reason you're so confused is because while you're trying to logically figure out what to do here, your emotions are actually running the show. You still have a lot of love for this person and for this connection. And it's a deep love. It's a meaningful love. It's not just, you know, oh, this is fun. This is cute, flirty, he he ha ha. No, like it is deep. This love has a lot of depth to it. Um. So you're trying to like ignore the feelings, ignore the emotions, and you're trying to like look at this from a logical, practical perspective, but what you're not realizing is all of your energy, the reason you can't figure out what to do, the reason you're so confused is because all of your energy is focused on trying to like shut this love up, trying to silence these feelings, trying to pretend like they're not there, trying to ignore them. Literally, it's like you're, you're, most of your energy is just focused on like pushing the emotional side down. So obviously you're not gonna have any energy left to give to your brain, to your mind, to make a logical decision. Let's look at the recent past. We'll clarify the judgment here in the recent past. Also, Aries, this is just a side note. This is a new deck. Um, it's with cats, obviously. So comment below and let me know, are you a cat or a dog person? One thing I've noticed about tarot, people love their cats. Whoever creates tarot decks, they love cats. I think there's maybe like one or two decks with dogs, but there are tens if not hundreds of decks with cats 
So tarot readers really like their cats. I personally am 50-50. I used to be a complete dog person, but now I'm like 50-50. I've met some pretty cool cats. Not all of them, though. Some of them, they, they, they're unpredictable, but I'm a 50-50. Anyway, enough about me. Back to the reading. Judgment in the recent past. Clarified by the magician, the emperor, which is you, the wheel of fortune. You've come to the realization that you want to shift things. You want to move things in a better direction here. Like you're manifesting the energies not being so sucky, not being so, eh, right? So whatever energy you were experiencing in the recent past, you're showing me like, I want to shift things. So take it from where it is, flip it on its head. I want a complete 180. That's what I'm manifesting. That's what I want. And you're crystal clear on this because these are all major arcana. Major arcana are indicative of your higher self, your soul, like you're aware of exactly what you want and you're aligned. Like you're communicating with the universe in a direct line. You're like, universe, this is what I want. Make things better. I'm manifesting the energies moving in a much, much more positive direction here. Let's clarify the queen of wands in the recent past. Queen of wands is clarified by the nine of cups, the two of cups and the king of swords. This love, oh my gosh, this connection makes you so, so emotionally fulfilled. Like, you know that. You're crystal clear on that. Even if we take away, like, remember, shut off the feelings, even on like a logical level. And I keep using logic in air quotes because there really is no logic here. Your emotions are running the show, but us as human beings, we like convincing ourselves that our brain is in charge because we're logical creatures. But you're showing me like even on a logical, practical level, like I know that this connection gives me emotional stability. I know this connection emotionally fulfills me. I know that it gives me what I need from an emotional perspective. Like there's just no two ways about it. Me being in this connection, me and this person loving each other and exchanging emotions fills my emotional cup, point blank period. Let's take a look at the page of cups in the recent past. Page of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Whew, that's a lot of swords. So you're showing me I want to heal things. I want to fix things. I really do, and you're open to it. You're open to healing things with your person. But you're showing me that in order for things to heal, your person would need to come in and apologize. There's no two ways about that either. It's literally like they messed up. They effed up. It's on them to apologize. So... We're all good until this point. Where it becomes a little bit sticky for you is you don't 100% trust that they're gonna apologize. And so you're showing me like, I wanna heal things, I wanna fix things. And I know that in order to do that, they would have to come in and apologize, but I don't know. I don't 100% believe that like, even if I told them, hey, you need to apologize, that they would. That's what's stressing you out here. I see you spending a lot of time surrounding the apology, like a lot of mental energy, a lot of time thinking about this, about the apology, them needing to apologize, and would you be able to be okay with it and heal things even if they didn't apologize? Um, to me, honestly, this sounds a little bit like you're trying to lower your standards a bit to accommodate this person because you want them back. You know, they want you back. You want to heal things. And, but you know that you would need an apology for things to heal. And I don't know if you're going to get that. And you're kind of like, okay, well, can we get back together? Even if I don't get everything that I want here, you know, let's look at the current situation. Um, clarify the eight of cups in the current situation. Eight of Cups is clarified by the five of, five of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Three of Swords. You're trying to emotionally detach here. This is kind of like your defense mechanism to emotionally disconnect, emotionally detach so that you're not feeling as heartbroken, so that you're not feeling as much of the emotional pain. Um, it kind of works, right? Like think of the emotional pain, your heartbreak, like a hot stove. Once you take your hand off the hot stove, it doesn't hurt as much. But it also doesn't mean that you're healing it. You're kind of essentially just emotionally disconnecting and telling yourself that by emotionally disconnecting, you're going to heal, you're going to fix this heartbreak, you're going to heal from this emotional pain. Um, I don't know if that's actually how it works. It doesn't hurt as much, right? Emotionally detaching just means you don't, you don't hurt as much. But I don't necessarily see you healing and dealing with the pain, that emotional pain either. Let's take a look at the Knight of Cups in the current situation. Knight of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Cups, which you just got, and the Knight of Swords. 
you're showing me that you really want to come in and offer this person your love. You do still love them very much and you want to give them love. You want to receive love from them. That's what you want. But because you said it's over, because things ended here in the 3D world, you can't do that. You're literally showing me like, this is what I want to do, but I can't go ahead and offer them love because things are over between us. Who am I going to give my love to? So what I'm doing instead is emotionally detaching and emotionally disconnecting. So this emotional detachment that you're going through in the current situation, it's twofold. One, it's to help you kind of, I guess, not feel the pain as much, not hurt as much. The second part is that it's kind of your way of like, oh, I want to do this. I want to give them my love, but obviously I can't because we're broken up. So let me just get rid of it all together. I know it sounds weird the way I'm saying it, but it seems to be working for you. I really don't see any suppression or anything like that here. You're just kind of like, you know, diverting your energy to where it makes sense type of thing. Let's clarify the temperance in the current situation. Temperance is clarified by the Queen of Cups, Three of Wands, and the Devil. You're waiting. You're just waiting. You're showing me like, yeah, I'm emotionally detached. I'm emotionally disconnected. But like, I'm just waiting. I'm literally sitting here waiting for my person to come back, for me to offer them love, for me to give them love. Because deep down, you, you're showing me like, I know they still love me. I know they still love me just as much as I love them. And so you're sitting here and waiting. Um, I do feel like there is a little bit of... It's not you lying to yourself. It's almost like you're kind of like addicted to the belief of it's easier for me to just wait than to do anything about this, right? Let me explain what I mean. Um, if you start the healing process, right, and then they come back, then what? You're kind of in the situation where you don't want to move on in case they come back, but you also don't want to stay stuck because it hurts too much to stay stuck with nothing happening. And so it's just, you're showing me like, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. It's easier for you to not do anything. That seems like the safer option for you right now. Um, and you're showing me like, I've been waiting for a little while and I feel like I'm going to keep waiting for a little while because I'm not at the point where I want to do one thing or the other. And that's Okay. That's okay. Let's take a look at the near future um, and see what the star is all about for the near future. The star is clarified by the fooled hanged man and the eight of wands. If I was a genie and I came up to you and I was like, Aries, you get one wish right now. You'd be like, let's talk. I want to wipe the slate clean, like literally wave a magic wand, wipe the slate clean and have a conversation. That is all you want. You get the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. You get it again here. That's all you want. You crystal, you're crystal clear on what you want. There's no games with you. There's none of this like immature BS. You're like, I want to start over. I want to start fresh. I want to wipe the slate clean. Let's go. Let's talk. Let's have a conversation. Let's take a look at the nine of swords in the near future because you showed it to me twice. Nine of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Wands, the Empress, and the High Priestess. Deep down, you're stressing out a little bit. You are stressing out in the near future, but you're not letting anybody see it. On the surface, people look at you and they're like, damn, Aries, you are cool, calm, collected, you're attractive, you're radiant, you're successful, you look amazing. Like, nobody would ever know the stress and the pain that's happening beneath the surface because you're very good at burying it deep, deep within yourself. You know. You know the pain that you're feeling. You get the lovers at the bottom of the deck. You know the pain you're feeling from this connection, from everything. But you're you're making it a point in the near future to not let anybody know. Like if somebody looks at you, even people that know you pretty well, they would never know that this is happening beneath the surface. You're really, really good at putting on a mask and just like, nobody needs to know my business. Nobody needs to know my problems. I'm good. I'm amazing. I'm incredible. Let's move along. Let's clarify the two of wands in the near future. Two of wands is clarified by the six of cups, the two of wands again, and the king of pentacles. You're just waiting for your person. You're showing me this is a soul connection. This is, we have so many good memories together. This is a soul connection. It's a deep connection. This person that you're dealing with, they have an ego on them. And it's their ego, it's their stubbornness, it's their hard-headedness, which eventually is going to crack. So I'm just going to wait until it does crack. You know your person very, very well, um, it seems, from what you're showing me here. 
And so you're showing me we have so many good times, so many good memories. I'm not throwing the soul connection away. I'm just going to wait for them. Wait for their ego to, to kind of calm down. Let's see. Let's see what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month, Aries. From the universe, you get the Eight of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Moon. You want to work on things. You want to work on things more than anything. You're showing me like hell or high water. I want to work. I want to build. I want to be able to move past this. Almost to the point where it's like an obsession for you, right? There is nothing that can shift you one way or the other. Like you're dead set that this is what you want. This is the direction you're moving in. This is what's going to happen. And you're just like, you're fixed. Um, that could be a positive thing. It could be a not so positive thing. I guess we, we shall see in February's reading. But Aries, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And of course, if you enjoy what I do, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Donation link is below in the description box and any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for tuning in Aries and I'll see you here on the next one.